How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with a pink can. A little collaboration series. A little still water. A little Arizona wilderness. A little milk stoutiness in the form of still water is nothing. Big Bunny is everything. Asterix, because I think that's part of the name. Arizona wilderness proves this message beer. <laughs> it's a whole lot of words. Uh, yeah. Um, still water. Uh, I didn't review the beers for the longest time, uh, just because I hated the word artisanal. You know, I don't know why. That bothers me, so I didn't do them. Even though uh, I like the brewery, I like their path, the, uh, the brewer, never met him. Uh, talked to him via email a couple times when I was going to have him on the radio show, and that shit went sideways. Not him, but the radio show. And um, and uh, made school beers, so it kind of got over my weird assholeness. And started uh, chugging some of his beers more often than not. Um, and they're combining with a brewery that I've had a few of their beers, mostly in collab form, but I'm kind of digging. Arizona Wilderness, they're a wild fermentation brewery um, down in Arizona, obviously. And I dig what they're doing, so I'm super excited to give this one. Uh, I was at a bottle share. Uh, my buddy Jim, uh, who's throwing me a couple beers, uh, said, hey man, take this, review this. So um, I am now taking this, I am now reviewing this. Let's get on it. As far as what it says on this can, it says, Still waters nothing, Big Bunny's everything, Asterix, Arizona Wilderness approves this message. This is an Imperial Chocolate Milk Stout at 8% alcohol by volume. Uh, da, 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 da. It says here, Flavored Beer, Bira, Beer de, Storco, or Cerveso, Ul. I don't know why they're putting all those in there. It says here, SE Cask, Sweden, Hock, Stratford, Connecticut, SE Cask, Sweden. I don't know... If this is being distributed out in Sweden specifically, so they have to put a lot of different kind of stuff on here, but uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, it says here, uh, blah, 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 best before August 2018. So I imagine this came out. Mm, that would be a weird number. Two year, two, no, two year date, uh, August 2018. I assume it's two years, so maybe it came out August 2016. This is July 4th, as you might hear from the fireworks out there. But yeah, I don't know when it came out, but it's, you know, chocolate milk stout should be fine. And likewise, I kind of like it. It's that, uh, what's that, uh, I'm going to butcher it. Um, that ASS, a ASCI kind of like asterisk kind of way you make art in computers. Yeah, some computer nerds are laughing at me right now because I'm butchering the shit out of this stuff. But hot pink can, little bunny on it. Well, you know, what more do you want? That's fucking beer, baby. Let's crack into that. That beer wants to come out of here. It wants to go inside my belly. That's some darkness. And that can, a little pour right there. So let's do this. Let's put that can there. And uh, yeah, that head is dissipating mightily quickly. Especially on my end. There might be a little bit of dirty glass mafia over here going on. Don't know. But it's a really angry kind of fucking dissipating head. It's almost like a science experiment going on. It's so fucking vibrantly angry. By the time I'm done with the head description, it'll almost be gone. Uh, what I like my coffee to look like, just south of that color wise, a little lighter is what I mean. Pretty deep viewing bubbles, like the soul of the beer you're looking into it. And that's pretty much it. Head's almost gone. So there you go. Now, it, it, like I said, it's a chocolate milk stout, uh, 8%, but it's Arizona Wilderness. So uh, you would expect some kind of bonkers fermentation going on here. You wouldn't think it would just be base yeast, but we're going to find out. So. Dark as dark could be, about as dark as my soul. It has cola vibes to it. I hope it does that because that's one of my favorite wild dark beers when it has the cola vibes. Seems to nose on her after hiccuping and shit. I definitely get the chocolate. I get like a marshmallow vibe. Hmm. I get a marshmallow vibe, but it's just like, it's like powdered marshmallow. Like, um, it's not so much that, like, the taste of the marshmallow or, like, when you smell a straight-up marshmallow. It's like, you ever pop a bag of marshmallows and you get that, and then you get that kind of marshmallow dust in your face? That's the kind of marshmallow vibe I'm getting. The chocolate is, is a marshmallow -y kind of chocolate, like a whipped kind of chocolate. It's very soft chocolate. It's nothing too big. I'm not getting anything as far as funky or tartness, but there's this kind of um, sterility 
to the nose. Like, uh, when I'm smelling it, I'm not getting much of anything, but I don't think it's because there's nothing there. I think sometimes wild yeast tends to come off a little bit sterile to me as far as the nose goes. They t it tends to be a little bit more... It, almost like a smoke screen, like the like it, it, it's hiding something and it's in the beer. I get that a lot from from um, from wild yeasty kind of stuff. Not necessarily saying that's what this beer is, but I feel like there's more to it. I feel like there's there's definitely gonna be a bit of funkiness to it, but it's just kind of tricking me a little bit. Yeah, maybe a little bit of chocolate malt kind of vibe, roasted malt. That's pretty much it. Super interesting nose. It's confusing. Let's put it that way. This is one of my favorite adjectives to use for things that usually end up being awesome in the drink hole. So, cheers. Hmm. weird it's like a syrupy an extra syrupy kind of chocolate soda getting the chocolate absolutely not getting it nearly as much as that marshmallow vibes that I got in the nose in the mouth I mean chocolate more like vanilla than marshmallow this kind of spiciness like um a, like a stuff you would put in doc like old school cola to make cola work like sarsaparilla or some kind of spiciness rhubarb kind of whatever um not necessarily the flavor but that kind of spiciness i don't know if that's a hop thing or if that's whatever yeast thing i don't know it doesn't taste funky at all it tastes thin it was definitely carbonated and it's a lost scent after being opened, it's almost like a sour, no sour, excuse me, a wild stout that just didn't turn wild. Sometimes you have beers that kind of go sideways and go sour. This one's like, okay, where this one's going to get funky and wild. And it just never went that way. Almost like the yeast was supposed to get a little bit kind of down and dirty, a little nitty gritty. And it just said, fuck you, motherfucker. I'm going to stay normal. Um, yeah, it, 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 I like it. I think the beer is nice. I think it's tasty. I think it's sprightly and bright for how dark and how dense it kind of is. Even though the carbonation is kind of weird on it, it, it drinks lighter. It drinks, like I said, kind of like a a more of an old school like soda you would get from a soda jerk back in the day where it's more like herbs and spices to make a soda flavored as opposed to like carbonated beverages that you get today. It's unique. And fun. I like it. I just wish the carbonation stayed a bit more because it's getting flat. As it gets flatter, it's getting, as you would feel like when a soda gets flat, you're like, oh, that's bummer. I wish it still had carbonation. Anyway, yeah, dude, I dig it. Um, it's not blowing me away, but it's also making me think. Just kind of fucking cool. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, let's talk about it. Is it one of the better milk stouts I've had in a while? No. That milk part, that lactosey part, it does come... I think that's where I'm getting the soda vibes from. I think that sweetness is giving the soda mentality. But, um... Yeah. It doesn't come off milk stout. It comes off more cola-y. Um, value availability, don't know. It was given to me. And uh, I saw it on a shelf, though, so I should know. I want to say it's like maybe like 12 bucks for a four-pack of like 12 ounces. Could be wrong. And, uh... Yeah. I... We can get it locally in our local uh, bottle shops, so I don't know what that means for you, but I assume if you get still water stuff, because we don't get it Arizona Wilderness, obviously, so if you get still water stuff, I assume you'd see it, and just say if you like what we like this. If you like soda, if you like rhubarb and sarsaparillas and Dr. Peppers and old school soda jerk <laughs> um, kind of sodas, because it's, uh, no, it's fun. It's interesting. I dig it, and uh, I'd like to try it fresh, straight up fresh. Don't think it's super old, but if it is, based off that dating, I'm curious what it would be like fresh. So there you go. Another review in the books. Down there is comments. Reach out. Say things. Yell. Scream. Agree. Whatever. Start a conversation. Um, so all the social medias. Massive beers. All four, five, ten of those places. 
you'll find me. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice old school Soda Jerk beer right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.